Meet Anne, a frequent shopper at www.shoppingcart.com. To make her shopping experience faster and hassle-free, she saved her information such as email ID, address, and credit card details on the website. One day, Anne received an email stating that she was eligible for a special discount voucher from shoppingcart.com. To receive the coupon code, she was asked to fill in her shoppingcart.com account credentials. This didn't seem fishy to her at the time, as she thought it was just an account verification step. Little did Anne realize the danger she was facing. She was knocked off her feet when a substantial amount of money was wiped from her account. How do you think this happened? Well, the email she received was fake. Anne's shoppingcart.com account witnessed unauthorized access from a third party. This type of attack is known as a cyber attack, and the person who carries it out is called a hacker. Could Anne have prevented this attack? Indeed she could have, with the help of cybersecurity. Let's dive into some common types of cyber attacks. First, the malware attack. This includes Trojans, adware, and spyware. Had Anne downloaded any suspicious attachments online, her system could have been corrupted by certain malicious viruses embedded within the attachments. Next, the phishing attack, the type of cyber attack Anne experienced. Here, the hacker usually sends fraudulent emails that appear to be coming from a legitimate source. This is done to install malware or to steal sensitive data like credit card information and login credentials. Then, there's the man-in-the-middle attack. Here, the hacker gains access to the information path between Anne's device and the website's server. The hacker's computer takes over Anne's IP address. By doing so, the communication line between Anne and the website is secretly intercepted. This commonly happens with unsecured Wi-Fi networks and also through malware. Lastly, the password attack. This is one of the easiest ways to hack a system. Anne's password could have been cracked by using either common passwords or trying all possible alphabetical combinations. After experiencing a cyber attack, Anne took several steps to enhance her cybersecurity. First, she installed a firewall of virtual wall between Anne's computer and the internet. Firewalls filter the incoming and outgoing traffic from your device to safeguard your network. They can either be software applications or hardware reinforcements. Next, she implemented honeypots. Just like how flowers attract bees, dummy computer systems called honeypots are used to attract attackers. These systems are made to look vulnerable to deceive attackers, which in turn defends the real system. Anne also used unique alphanumeric passwords, creating strong, unique passwords that are hard to guess. Additionally, she installed antivirus software to detect and remove malware. Lastly, she avoided emails from unknown senders to prevent phishing attacks. Among the many threats organizations face, the Advanced Persistent Threat or APT is particularly insidious. Hackers gain access to networks for a prolonged period to continuously steal confidential information. Then there's the Denial of Service or DOS attack where networks are flooded with traffic, leaving legitimate service requests unattended. Even more daunting is the Distributed Denial of Service or DDoS attack, which uses multiple systems to launch the attack. Another common method is the SQL injection attack, where hackers manipulate a standard SQL query in a database-driven website to view, edit, and delete tables from databases. Amidst a plethora of cyber attacks, it is indeed a challenge for organizations with several networks and servers to ensure complete security. This is not an easy task, and to help with this, cybersecurity professionals are hired to work on identifying cyber threats and securing a company's network. If hacking fascinates you, the role of an ethical hacker might just be what you're looking for. Such professionals try to identify a network's vulnerabilities just like how a hacker would, but only to resolve them for protection against an actual cyber attack. If you are looking to design robust security structures, then the role of a security architect is more apartment. Another vital role is that of the Chief Information Security Officer, or CISO who plays a crucial role in enterprise security and is entrusted with the overall safety of the information in an organization. Here's a question for you. Identify the type of cyber attack where the hacker's system takes over the client's IP address. Is it A, DDoS attack, B, man in the middle attack, C, phishing attack, or D, password attack? Give it a thought and leave your answers in the comments section below. Three lucky winners will receive Amazon gift vouchers. 
With the increase in the production of global digital data, it is anticipated that cyber attacks will quadruple in the near future. Organizations are going to need cybersecurity professionals who can prevent these attacks. A career in the field of cybersecurity is lucrative and a very smart decision for professionals now. So what are you waiting for? You can get up to speed with Olodo Agbaya cybersecurity educational videos and become a cybersecurity expert. If you enjoyed this video, a thumbs up would be really appreciated. Don't forget to subscribe to the Olodo Agbaya channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update on the latest trending technologies. Thank you for watching and stay safe online.